You may think buying an accessory for a whiskey lover is easy. Just go and buy them some whiskey stones, but please don't do that. We don't really like whiskey stones, but what we're gonna do in this video is help you find the gifts that whiskey lovers really want to receive. We've got gifts from five pounds all the way up to 70 pounds here, and everything that we're recommending in this video is down in the description below. Now, the first item that's on this list was recommended by three people. It's come from First Fill Whiskey, it's come from Diego from Bonhams, and Jeff from uh, Jeff's Whiskey as well. All three of these said that they would love to be given one of these. What is it? It's a 25 pound glass. It's called the Professional Blenders or the 1920s Professional Blenders glass. And it was developed by Angus McRailed in association with Speciality Drinks Limited. And it's specially designed for nosing and tasting older, which, which is technically, well, quite often lower ABV whiskies. And it's got this unique, this unique design really. It looks almost like a tulip vase or a, or a hyacinth vase. It's got a very bulbous body and a very narrow nose, which concentrates the aromas. So when you're nosing your whiskey, you get a much greater intensity of flavors and compounds coming into your nose. And the 25 pounds, everybody wants one. Most people break them because the stems are so neat. So even if somebody's got one and you buy them another one, they're gonna thank you for it anyway. But whiskey lovers love this glass and for 25 pounds, you really can't go wrong. Now, the next accessory on our list is this Angostura's Bitters collection, which we'll put on screen for you now. It was recommended by Phil Dwyer from Whiskey Wednesday. And you may think, why on earth am I buying a whiskey lover Angostura's Bitters? Well, Angostura's Bitters, they're actually very useful. They're used, of course, in making old fashions, and they've got quite an interesting history as well. They were developed in the early 19th century by Johann Gottlieb Benjamin Siegert. And it's, a, it's sort of like a, bitters are like a, a special blend of spirits infused with botanicals. And in the case of Angostura's bitters, that has only been passed down by word across five generations. So there's only five people in the world who know how to make Angostura's bitters. Now, they're quite cost effective. You know, this is a cheap or good stocking filler for somebody. And it, you know, it opens up a whole load of opportunity to make various different cocktails with your whiskey. Old Fashioned's my go-to cocktail. I absolutely love an Old Fashioned. And a kit like this for a whiskey lover, it's gonna go down a lot better than some boring whiskey stones. Number three on this list is my recommendation. And if you can see it behind you, it is this distillery map of Scotland. Now, this is something that we are just releasing now, and the prices range from 97 pounds for an A3 print all the way up to 270 pounds for an A1 size print, which this one is behind me. Now, the map is a historic map by John Thompson from his Atlas of Scotland, which was published in 1832. And our graphic designer, he's enhanced the map. We've revitalized the map. We've, we've sort of graded all the colors on there because this is, would have all originally had a hand colored uh, water coloring outlines on there. And of course, you've got all the details of the distilleries, which is in these regions of Scotland, which is North and South Argyllshire. So you've got Campbelltown, you've got Isla, and you've got dozens of distilleries on this map. Now, this is something that would look good in a whiskey bar, uh, like a whiskey room or anything like that. Nobody else is making these. It looks like an antique print because it is an antique print. It's a reproduction of an antique print and they really are unique. I would love one, so I made them. So there you go. So the fourth item on this list comes from Ben Walters from Whiskey Diary. Now he drinks a lot of whiskey. He needs to because he does lots of reviews on YouTube. Now he wanted a infinity bottle. What on earth is an infinity bottle? Well, essentially, it's just a bottle that you make your own blends in. So essentially, when you're getting to the end part of your bottle, you may put it in your infinity bottle and you keep growing it with this ever evolving mix. Now, some people just tend to use an old bottle that they've got lying around. But the problem is most of these have got cork stoppers, which makes them quite vulnerable to snapping and breaking. Now, an infinity bottle could last 10, 15 years. So the one that we've recommending here, it's a hundred pounds. It's a hundred pounds for a decanter, but it holds a litre. Now it's not a bottle. 
these decanters are quite good for this purpose really because the stoppers on this particular decanter are all ground by hand so the fit on them is near perfect so it would be much better than having an airtight seal like the, 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 the seal that you might get on a cork driven stopper. Now there are a few things to note about when you're making your own infinity bottle is you need to get a bottle that's relative the amount of whiskey that you're drinking. Ben drinks a lot of whiskey that's why we're recommending this litre size decanter so we can put a lot of his whiskey in there and make his own blends. The other point to remember is don't mix too much weird whiskey together. Don't go mixing light lowlands and Isla whiskies together, unless that's your bag, because the Isla whiskies are going to continue to dominate that infinity bottle for a long time. Again, the one that we've recommended here is £100. It's a sensational, beautiful decanter, and you could use it for just for pouring your whiskey into instead of using it as an infinity bottle. And again, the link is in the description below. Number five on this list comes from Vin from No Nonsense Whiskey. Now, I like Vin and I like his recommendation here. So we had three people recommending this 1920s uh, professional blenders glass. Now, that's all well and good if you want to be really serious and knows your whiskey, but there's a problem with it. You have to tip your head really far back to actually get a drink out of it. So it's not very social. So Vin has suggested, what about some, some tumblers? Because Sometimes people take whiskey too seriously. Everyone's guilty of taking whiskey too seriously, especially if you're watching this channel. Come on, we do take whiskey too seriously. So he's recommended a tumbler. And the one that we've got on here, it's from Amazon. It's under 10 pounds. It's Japanese glass. It's got beautiful sort of like uh, ridges around the sides and it's got a domed bottom so it won't stand still. It will just keep rolling around and fidgeting. And that's kind of the beauty of this. It's cheap. It's fun and it reminds us not to take whiskey too seriously because as much as a glass like this might be great for someone who's really, really into their whiskey, what about if you want to share your whiskey with your friends? It's probably not the most social glass, so these tumblers are fantastic. Number six on this list comes from Johnny Fowl from Sotheby's. Now, Johnny travels the world a lot, and I think that's a bit of an understatement. He's always going to New York, over to uh, Asia, into the Europe. He's traveling a lot. So he's recommended this aged in one decanter, which we'll put on screen now, and it's 69 pounds, which sounds quite a lot for a 500 milliliter decanter. But the beauty with this is, is that it's got cups that fit around the outside of it that mean it's perfectly safe when you're traveling. So if you are flying over over to America or to LA, you can fill it up with some of your favorite whiskey. You can put the decanter inside these insulated uh, metal outer body and then chuck it in your bag. And you know that when you get to your destination, it's gonna be completely safe and you can pour yourself a dram. The final item on this list comes from Moa, the Swedish whiskey girl. She's a great YouTuber, go and check out her videos. And she also drinks a lot of whiskey. Now, you may see a theme here that whiskey people don't want whiskey stones. They want whiskey glasses. Now, the one that Moe's recommended is the Luigi Bomolio Spirit Sniffer. It's £6.75, which is an absolute bargain. And it does a similar job to this, the, the £25 glass that we talked about earlier, your standard Glencairn glass here, in that it, it concentrates the aromas of the whiskey that improves the, your tasting, whatever. You can, you can taste more when you nose more, basically. It's really, it's a really nice glass. It's a very delicate glass. Don't put it down too hard because you will snap the bottom off it. But if you're looking for a beautiful, elegant glass for a whiskey lover that won't break the bank, then this is definitely the glass for you. And of course, the link is in the description below. So there we have it. That's what whiskey people want to receive as a gift. They don't want whiskey stones. They want, broadly speaking, glasses and weird things and prints. If you've got any things you think we've missed off this video, get in the comments below and let us know.